stop making notes and flashcards for math because it could be ruining your grades and let me explain listen there's no doubt that notes and flashcards are one of the most important tools when it comes to revising for gcse's and a levels they're pretty much the main reason that i did well in school if you look at the top students they all make notes and flashcards but that's for most subjects not all of them People think that since notes and flashcards are effective, that they need to make them for math as well. But in reality, it's doing the opposite effect. And if you stick around to the end, I'm going to be sharing the only scenario where you should be making flashcards and notes for math. Firstly, why is making notes and flashcards actually harmful for your grades? Math is all about learning a technique, let's say for example, completing the square, and just banging out as many practice questions as you possibly can. Someone might say, well, I need to memorize that technique first, so I need to make notes and flashcards to memorize it. But no, the best way of memorizing a technique or, or anything really is not to memorize the steps in your head. It's to do that thing as many times as possible. I want you to think of a footballer. When he first learned how to do a step over, did he memorize the steps of the step over? Like, first I'm going to raise my leg, then I'm going to put it around the ball, and so on. No, he did step overs as many times as possible, until it became natural to him. I've never made notes or flashcards for expanding quadratics, for example. I've just done it so many times throughout the years that it just comes naturally to me. So imagine that when you want to revise each and every topic in math, that before you practice, you make notes and flashcards. You'll be wasting so much time. I honestly think that 95% of your math results will come from just practice. So why would you not make it the main thing? If you spent 30% of your time revising for math, making notes and flashcards, and then the rest, 70% of the time, practicing, you're not going to get as much out of your time revising compared to if you had spent 5% of the time just going over the technique, and then 95% of the time just doing questions to perfect that technique. By now, you should know that I'm all about efficient revising, studying as less as possible and still getting the top grades. So for me, not making notes and flashcards in my revision for math was an obvious decision. One of the problems of making notes and flashcards for math is that it doesn't only affect your math grade, it affects all of your grades. Let's imagine two people that can only revise three hours in a given day. They both want to revise math and then the rest of the time they can use to revise any other subjects. Person A spends 30 minutes making notes and flashcards and then an hour practicing questions. So now he spent an hour and a half doing math and now he has another hour and a half doing whatever subject he wants. Now let's imagine person B. Person B doesn't make any notes or flashcards for math, he just goes straight to practicing. So he practices an hour. And then he uses the rest of the time, which is two hours, to revise another subject. Now they both put in an hour practicing math. But person B had an extra half an hour that day to study for other subjects. Now half an hour doesn't really sound like a lot, but imagine every single day. That half an hour could add up to tens of hours when it comes to your actual GCSE exam. Those hours spent revising for other subjects instead of making notes and flashcards could be the difference between a 7 and an 8 or an 8 or a 9 and so on. Now, of course, this is a generalization and there are scenarios where you're going to need to make flashcards and notes even for math. The most common scenario where you're going to need to make flashcards and notes for topics in math is for stats. I think for GCSE, there's not that many stat questions that you need to worry about. So if you're doing GCSEs, don't worry about flashcards and notes for math. But in AS Math, for example, we had to learn that disadvantages and advantages of stuff like a census. But if I'm being honest, that stuff is not really math. It doesn't include numbers. So my rule still applies. Don't waste time on making flashcards and notes for math. That precious time can be used to study for other subjects instead so that you can get the top grades without revising that much.